in Greece, the bodies of 18 unidentified victims have been found after a forest fire and officials believe they may have crossed the border illegally. Free at last, liberated villagers in Ukraine described terror, thirst and starvation as war raged around their homes. Franz Timmermans has resigned as vice president of the EU Commission to lead a social democrat green coalition in Dutch elections. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sánchez has slammed the Football Federation chief Luis Rubiolas' apology following a scandalous World Cup kiss. Officials in Greece say the bodies of 18 people were found in Dardia National Park by fire crews tackling blazes in the northeast of the country. It's thought the victims may have crossed the border illegally before being trapped in the wildfire. In the city of Alexandropolis, 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 in the city of με δεδομένο ότι από τις γύρω περιοχές δεν έχει υπάρξει καμία δήλωση εξαφάνισης ή αγνωμένων κατοίκων, διερευνάται το ενδεχόμενο να πρόκειται για ανθρώπους που εισήλθαν παράτυπα στη χώρα μας. Υπενθυμίζεται ότι από χθε είχαν σταλεί μηνύματα 112 εκένωσης της ευρύτερης περιοχής. Firefighters in Greece are dealing with dozens of wildfires across the country. On Monday, officials confirmed two deaths from fires in northern and central parts of the country. At least two firefighters have been injured. Amidst the steel on steel, frontline fighting, terrified civilians, safe at last. The video released by the Ukrainian Army's 47th Brigade on social media recorded the moment of rescue and tales of survival. Психологічно було дуже важко. Поки не стало води і поки не стало світла, було, потім не стало хліба. Городик ми посадили, а то бігали між пострілами. Трошки підкопнемо картопельки, то таке всяке їли. 52 було влітку. Я вам скажу, у мене були шикарні подарунки. Мені подарували пиріжки з шовковицею, подарували три хлібини. Подарувала, мама принесла букет троят, а кум приніс пів ящика бубликів, які знайшов у окупантів. Скоро побачимо. Привіт. Сонечко моє. Як ми скучили за вами. For the people of Robotina, a chance to call loved ones, even as heavy shelling continued around the village that's seen two months of intense fighting. The Ukrainian forces made tactically significant gains in western Zaporizhia region while continuing counteroffensive operations in the Donetsk Zaporizhia region administrative border and in eastern Ukraine. Geolocated footage published on the 20th and the 21st of August indicates that Ukrainian forces reached the central part of Robotene right here. It is situated about 10 kilometers south from Orihiv and broke through some Russian defenses south of Malatokmachka, this direction. Ukrainian army reports entering Russian occupied village of Robotene. Russian sources state that the fighting here is ongoing. The Institute for the Study of War previously assessed that Ukrainian attacks on Robotene are tactically significant because the Ukrainian advance in the area may allow Ukrainian forces to begin operating past the densest Russian minefields. Ukrainian advances across fields in this area likely confirm this assessment. Persistent Ukrainian advances in the Robotene area also likely aim to degrade Russian forces that have committed significant effort, resources and personnel to hold positions around Robotene. The UK Defense Ministry says the Russian military is highly likely forming a new 18th Combined Arms Army from the other units currently operating in Kherson region. It is likely to consist mostly of mobilized personnel and to focus on defensive security operations in the south of Ukraine. Russia likely aims to free up more experienced units to fight on key axes. There is a realistic possibility that this has led to the recent redeployment of airborne forces from Kherson to the heavily contested Orihiv area.
fire and rescue crews in Stepnohursk in Ukraine have become used to coming under fire while rescuing people. They call the four-kilometer road to the front line the highway of life. They've helped 5,000 residents escape along the muddy, shell-pocked route, often under attack themselves. We попадали не тільки під танч, ми попадали і під самоліти, і під мінамети. Ми бачили там все. Але ж на той час, коли ти тянеш машину чи автобус з людьми, ти ж не будеш бросати. Ти знаєш, що ти надо перетягнути, бо ззаді стоїть ще колона. When Russia blocked one of the exits from the highway, the fire crews adapted and focused instead on helping those left behind. After the shells fall, they emerge from an improvised bomb shelter in what was once a water storage tank. This was under water, a reservoir. We found him here, when we found order, at the end of the day, when we found him, it was decided to make a decision to remove him the rescuers are exhausted after a year and a half of a war whose end is not in sight in the short or medium term. Two of their colleagues have lost their lives along the way. The EU Commission's Vice President and Climate Chief Franz Timmermans has resigned in a bid to run for Prime Minister in the Netherlands. The 62-year-old former Dutch Foreign Minister has been chosen to lead the Green Left in parliamentary elections in November. The Dutch elections are wide open with two new parties vying to become the biggest force in the nation as traditional groups like the Christian Democrats face major challenges to maintain their standing. Timmermans will lead a broad centre-left coalition of Social Democrats and Greens. Mark Rutte, the incumbent Prime Minister, has announced he won't stand. The nation grieves with you. That's what US President Joe Biden told survivors of Hawaii's wildfires on Monday as he promised to help residents of the island of Maui recover after the deadliest wildfire in the United States in more than a century. The president and his wife cut short their week-long holiday to comfort survivors of the devastating wildfires. Lahaina was a historic town of 13,000 people and has been virtually destroyed by the flames. I also want all of you to know the country grieves with you, stands with you, and will do everything possible to help you recover, rebuild, and respect culture and traditions when the rebuilding takes place. The wildfires have claimed at least 114 lives, with 850 people still missing. The flames moved so quickly that residents and visitors were caught off guard. Many were trapped in the streets or forced to jump into the ocean to escape. It's nearly two weeks since the fire started, and Biden has come under attack from Republicans who claim he has not done enough to address the devastation. The White House says Biden delayed his trip so as not to distract officials and rescuers working on the ground. Japan is set to release treated radioactive water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant on Thursday, despite protests from neighboring countries and demands from China and South Korea to reconsider the decision. In Seoul, protesters took to the streets, accusing Tokyo of jeopardizing the safety of South Koreans. China called the release of radioactive water a wrong decision and called on Japan to correct it. Beijing says the ocean is a common property of all humankind and promised to take all necessary measures to safeguard the marine environment. Japan's cooperated with the International Atomic Energy Agency in the plan to discharge treated water contaminated at the plant in 2011 when an earthquake and tsunami wrecked Fukushima, melting three reactors. The water's been stored in a thousand tanks and treated with what's called an advanced liquid processing system. Not enough. That's what Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez has called the Football Federation chief's apology following Sunday's World Cup kiss scandal. Luis Robiales posted a video message on Monday saying he was, quote, completely wrong. Eh, lo que vimos fue un gesto inaceptable. Creo también que las disculpas que ha dado el señor Rubiales no son suficientes, hasta incluso yo creo eh, que no son adecuadas. 
y que por tanto tiene que continuar dando pasos el señor Rubiales para aclarar pues, lo que vimos todos a través de los medios de comunicación. Rubiales was forced to explain his behavior during the medal ceremony after Spain's historic win against England in the Women's World Cup final. The 45-year-old unexpectedly kissed forward Jenny Hermoso on the lips. On Instagram, Hermoso was filmed saying she didn't like it, but later defended him in a statement. Football fans in Spain turned out in their thousands on Monday night to celebrate their side winning the Women's World Cup. The victorious players toured Madrid in an open-topped bus, drinking in the euphoric atmosphere. Olga Carmona's strike in the 29th minute sealed glory for the Spaniards in Sydney, causing heartbreak for an England side who had been favourites to win. The Spanish captain joined the celebrations, despite learning after the match that her father had passed away just hours before the final. The players arrived at the celebration spot near midnight local time, some three hours after their plane had landed. The celebrations ended some four hours later, with confetti being sprinkled onto the stage and players and staff and fans singing, We are the champions. <laughs>